Welcome to Donald's Samadhi class. The next tune in the Scottish Samadhi is Artaxerxes, and I'll comment on the tune uh, afterwards. The usual practice I'm adopting here is to sing three stanzas, the first one in the soprano part, and then I'll slip into the tenor part. Now you can slip into the tenor part at any point, and I usually do it at the end of the first stanza as it's convenient when you've got a congregation singing. But as you're just listening to me, that might just put you off, so I'll merge into the uh, I'll slip into the tenor in the uh, second stanza in the second line, and I would encourage you to sing along in the soprano, and then you'll hear me slip into the tenor and you'll be able to hear the harmony between the two parts. Uh, as we go into the uh, third stanza. Now, the psalm I'm going to sing it to is Psalm 132, which is uh, the longest of the 15 songs of degrees. There are 150 psalms, and 15 of them are songs of degrees. And the word degree uh, comes from the Hebrew word uh, meaning to go up. And so it's sometimes they're called songs of ascent, uh, referring to the children of Israel going up to Jerusalem uh, at their annual feasts three times a year. And you'll find that in Deuteronomy uh, chapter 16 and at verse 16. And as they went up to Jerusalem, uh, they would sing. Another of the uh, songs of degrees is Psalm 122, and that refers specifically to this at the beginning where it says, I joyed, went to the house of God, go up, they said to me, Jerusalem, within thy gates, our feet shall standing be. Jerusalem, as a city, is compactly built together. Unto that place the tribes go up, the tribes of God go thither. So as they were going up there, they were singing the praises of God from these psalms. The Psalm 132 celebrates uh, David, King David uh, taking the Ark of the Covenant uh, into uh, Jerusalem. And another name for Jerusalem in the Bible is Zion, and that occurs in the very first stanza that we're going to sing. You might be familiar with the word from the modern term uh, Zionist, which reminds us of another aspect of going up. Uh, the Hebrew word uh, Allah, meaning to go up, uh, is in the concept of what's called uh, Aliyah. Uh, and the Jews that are returning to Jerusalem speak about uh, making Aliyah. That is, they're going back to the land of Israel. And this has been going on for about two centuries, uh, and more particularly since the re-establishment of the State of Israel in 1948. So that brings us now to our uh, psalm, Psalm 132, and we'll sing uh, three stanzas uh, from verse 13. For God of Zion hath made choice to the tune Artaxerxes. For God of Zion hath made choice, there he desires to dwell. This is my rest, here still I'll stay, for I do like it well. Her food I'll greatly bless, her poor with bread will satisfy. Her priests I'll clothe with health, her sins shall shout forth joyfully. And there will I make David's horn to bud forth pleasantly. For him that mine anointed is, a lamp ordained have I. 
Now, the tune, for those of you who follow in so far, is easier to talk about so far than to talk about staff notation. Uh, the so far is a scale, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, which you may recall from the sound of music. Do, a deer, a female deer, Re, a drop of golden sun, Me, the name I call myself, and so on. So that's the so far scale. And we might have an opportunity to come across that more with you. But what it means is you can talk about the tunes uh, by using that, and you can. Uh, there are books written like that with so far. So this tune, Artaxerxes, begins like this Do, mi, 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 re, do, do, do. And you might say, So what? Well, there's another tune at the end of the alphabet. Uh, which we call Winchester, which begins very, very similarly. And because it's a much commoner tune, there's a danger, if you're not careful, of slipping into that tune. You'll recognise the tune when I sing it. The other tune, which begins very similarly, goes like this. Do, mi, mi, re, do, fa, fa, mi, re, mi, so, so, fe, so. You recognise it? I'll give you a second or two to think. While humble shepherds watch their flocks. And that's uh, so well known that you may slip into that tune instead because they both begin with the exact same timing and the exact same uh, first three notes uh, on the same key of G. And so there's that danger. So I say that for the presenters uh, who may be uh, singing at Artaxerxes and find that they slip into uh, Winchester or indeed the congregation might even pull them into Winchester and that's a thing that you need to be careful about. So it goes like this Do, mi, 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 re, do, do, do That's Artaxerxes So, until the next time, take care and God be with you.